One of the reasons why I, as a kid, loved Diana and why I actually think she was an amazing woman now is because she wasn't afraid to dramatize herself and she wasn't afraid to engage with the media. For goodness sakes, one of the scenes in this play is about when she puts herself on stage for Charles's birthday. So the idea she would be, you know, somehow posthumously offended by this, I think is crazy. I think she'd there find she it is. quite funny. There, there she had a great she sense of humor, Diana. I think she'd find it quite funny. Well, have a guess at the year here. Anyone? 80... Three. No. The year 91? Were, uh, the year you were born, Storm. 87? 87, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, I do feel sad seeing these pictures, don't you, Dawn? It's no, such, I, it is a family tragedy in the end. I, I spent a, a fair bit of time with Diana um, back around this period when mm. the boys were very little because I used to work on a magazine and we had a Children of Courage Awards and she was a patron, so we would spend a lot of time with her. And the, the, the problem I have with... Almost every portrayal I've seen of Diana, whether it's the film or the musical, is that she's portrayed to be some 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 permanent victim, some weak, pathetic woman, and she really wasn't like that. And I, I think that's I think she would be offended by that, to be honest with you, because she she was so much more than how she's being portrayed. Mm. Well, she certainly and, began to really flower, didn't she? Yeah. But maybe as the marriage was going wrong, she had a landmines campaign. She's a very kind I don't, person. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with Don on that. Have you seen The Crown? Because she's portrayed as a character with lots of different aspects to her personality, for sure, and one of them is definitely a victim. But the other one is like a punchy individual well, that's, you know. I, I must, I must confess, I haven't actually seen all the crown. No, any I, nonsense. I'd and also not behaving like the, the poor, mistreated wife. But, the, the, mean, but the, the image you get from the crown and the little bits I have seen, I haven't seen the whole thing, it does concentrate more on portraying her to be the victim. I mean, sort of like, you know, the, the bulimia and, you know, the one scene I did see was her sitting in front of a, a, a fridge, you know, compulsively eating and then vomiting. So there is this victim shaming almost of Diana. Part, part, part of Diana's power, though, was about talking in a way that Rawls had never spoken before about really important issues. Yeah. And I think if it's done with tastefulness, showing the fact that she did have bulimia and she did struggle with those things would perhaps be something she'd take pride in. But it has to be Let's... balanced. And I, I, I do actually feel sorry for her boys on this one um, because, I, I, you know, if that was my mum and she was being portrayed in this way, I would be really uncomfortable it with must, it. If you're Charles as well and yeah. you know, okay he, he was not he was at fault in some of it but to, to continually see it being brought back up